Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Libras. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras. If you do not have your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign in Libra, I would definitely check out my other videos. Um, this is going to be for December 24th through the 31st, okay guys? So... If you're interested in checking out my other videos to get a deeper look into what's going to be taking place this week, make sure you guys are checking out my other videos for the other signs. And we're going to get straight into you guys' reading, okay? I feel like I just got super tongue-tied, but whatever. We're going to keep rolling, okay? It's super late right now, and I'm up, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> But um, yes, if you're interested in getting a personal reading, all my information is going to be listed below for you guys to find. Make sure you guys are looking in my description box as well as in the beginning of the video. And let's see what's popping. Let's see what's popping. The extended version will also be posted on my Patreon. If you are not a member, make sure you guys are signing up. I have a new Patreon. My other Patreon was just super crazy. I was having way too many uh, confusing things going on with that patreon so we just we're gonna try it again so if you want to see my extended readings make sure you guys check that out and let's see what's popping So I feel like this week you guys are going to be receiving a lot of opportunities for some of you guys. For others of you, communication from someone who you've been expecting to hear from, okay? Um, somebody you've been expecting to hear from. I'm also seeing something here about money. I'm seeing something here about money. Make sure you're not overspending. Make sure you guys are saving and putting money away for a rainy day, okay? And I feel like some of you guys are having this issue with getting consistency. Whether that's consistency within your relationships or consistency when it comes to just maybe your passion for certain things. Give me a sec, guys. But yeah, definitely an issue with that this week. Yeah, some of you guys are really just wanting to be in the wind this week and feeling free. Or this could be somebody that you're dealing with who's wanting to do that this week. But um, overall, I feel like you guys are really wanting to put effort into a situation here. <clears throat> but there's no real consistency okay yeah and some of you guys you've gone through the worst like literally you've gone through the worst that could ever happen already so it's kind of like you're trying to avoid any sort of misfortune moving forward and trying to stay hopeful as well this week i feel like you, you may be, like, trying to keep hope to the point where you feel like you're hanging yourself by trying to be hopeful. Like, putting yourself, like, nailing yourself to the cross. Some of you guys are ending a situation because you found out that somebody was sneaking around on you. Or that somebody was just not trustworthy. Okay, but um, watch your connections this week. I feel like you guys are going to definitely be 
aware of this energy that's why you're going to come out on top and miss things going wrong so i'm gonna go ahead and pull some more cards we're gonna see what the other deck has to say um, about your energy So we have the first card out. It says, eat your fucking vegetables, okay? Um, you guys are needing to eat healthier. Some of you guys... I was going to say that. You need to make better choices. It could be like a figurative thing, okay? Um, it could be that you need to make better choices when it comes to what your choosing to put in your system energetically and physically okay but um with the ba make better choices card um if you guys are upset with yourself right now you guys need to start taking that up with yourself Alrighty, give me one more card from my libras and then we have take a fucking trip it says go see some shit do some new things talk to people cooler than you <clears throat> So get out there, experience life, experience what is out there for you, and just enjoy life. Enjoy life this week, okay? So let's go ahead and see what the, the tarot has to say about what's going on with you guys this week. Um, sorry about this. I have so many cards on my desk. It's bananas. All right, so let's see. Libras for whoa <laughs> Libras for December twenty fourth through the thirty first week. Summer rising and Venus Libras. So some of you guys right off the bat you're dealing with connections where you're trying to get control over somebody who you have kids with somebody who you're trying to make a situation work with that's what i'm feeling you're really trying to be strong when it comes to this connection but you guys are mentally in a weird space but i feel like there's some lessons that are being learned here at the moment yeah some of you guys are stressing about a family situation, somebody who you're building a connection with or who you built a connection with, a twin flame, family, like I said. But there could have been some backhanded things that happened or nasty things said. And I feel like overall, it's just weird energy, okay? Um, I feel like you're mentally feeling kind of stuck and there's a need for you guys to focus on yourself, focus on what's going to bring a sense of happiness to you guys because you guys need to Look at what's not working for you guys anymore and move out of alignment with that. Move out of alignment with that and be in a space of introspection. Be in a space of introspection. Use your intuition. Especially when it comes to a connection here. Um, if there's like a family connection going on. When it comes to somebody who you have kids with or somebody who may have kids. And somebody who is just very masculine. Very business minded. Very... 
focused on them. But if this isn't somebody else, this could be you guys taking on more of this energy. But with the Nine of Wands here, I'm seeing stressed, stressed energy at your wit's end. Are you going to keep taking this person's BS? Are you guys going to keep taking this person's BS? Crosswatchers, I'm sorry. You guys are going to give me heat for this reading, but it's so on point right now. It's crazy. Things are ending right now. You got to walk away from things that are emotionally not serving you. And you guys need to focus on healing and your dreams and your goals, your aspirations, where you want to be. And that decision is only going to be yours, okay? Are you going to make the situation work for your family? If it's not a family, are you guys going to make the situation work? But this decision is going to be based off of you and what you feel is enough for you in a connection. Okay, and I feel like some of you guys are going to choose to not reconcile. Because there's a lot of effort and time being put into this relationship, but there's no real results. Okay, no real results, and you guys got to worry about you now. You guys got to worry about you. It's always been about you, like, at the end of the day. Forget everybody else, okay? I know you Libras, you guys love everybody else and love considering others, which is beautiful. I can appreciate that as an Aries, an opposite sign, the opposite sign of you guys. I can appreciate that. But it's time for you to do you. Do you. And stop dealing with this back and forth, highs and lows, energy. Okay, stress energy, putting on too much baggage. Okay. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and finish this off on the other side, guys. We're going to see what's going on with your spouse. Because I want to see truly what's going on with them. And, well, actually, let's take a, a brief look. And then we're going to finish this off on the other side. But what's going on with my Libra's cross watcher? This jumped at me, guys. It jumped at me. So, um, so tied to you is dangerous. Okay. So tied to you is dangerous. It's like whenever they try to move on from you, how can they move on from you? How? The sex is good. <laughs> but there's some things that this person is internalizing right now and a lot of things that this person is not telling you okay whether that's about how they feel or what's truly going on cards jumping at me guys cards are jumping at me whatever this person is not telling you right now it's like they They don't want to tell you. They don't want to tell you. That's why. They don't want to tell you about the things that they've been doing. They, <laughs> they don't want to tell you about the things that they've been doing. So if your intuition's been telling you some things about this person, you're right. You're right. There you go. 
is it enough to make you realize that it's enough? And that is you that that needs to be center stage in your life? Maybe. Okay. So like I said, we're going to finish this off on the other side. I really appreciate you Libra so much. Okay. If this reading resonated with you, make sure you guys like this reading and I wish you guys the best of luck this week. Okay. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye Libras.